Greetings, I'm Kim Maya family. Today I'm gonna to show you how I strain my loose leaf tea. So you're going to need a mason jar that you're going to strain in, your strainer, and a teaspoon, as well as the sizes that you're gonna need. So for one, it's gonna be eight ounces because I'm only going to make um, one tea in this one, and then I have a 16 ounce because I'm going to do two. So we're gonna start by boiling our water and making sure that it's spring water. As you can see, my spring water is here and my water is boiling here. I'm sure it's ready. Yeah. So we're gonna get started. So like I was saying, um, for the one, it's, I'm doing my long aid, and it's just going to be just this blend by itself. So I'm going to use just an eight ounce jar. So I'm going to take my teaspoon and just measure out one teaspoon. So for every teaspoon, you're going to need eight ounces of water. And then just fill the jar. and we'll let this seep. So for the next one, I'm going to do two different blends. So I have a 16 ounce jar. And again, the same thing. Taking your teaspoon and filling it up just once. And again, like I said, each teaspoon needs eight ounces of water. That was the mucus remover, and this is my cold and flu blend, and just because my son isn't feeling well today. And then fill that one all the way up. And let them seep for at least 10 minutes. Okay, namaste. So after about 10 minutes, all of the herb is usually settled in the bottom and then you can just start straining. So I take my strainer and I set it on top of my jar, which this is a wide mouth jar so that my strainer can fit. And then you just pour it in. Let me go rinse this out. Now when the herbs usually get stuck in the jar, then I usually just rinse it out because this is the jar that I'm going to put it back in. the one the long A and then next is going to be the mucus remover and the cold and flu go rinse this one as well And then just pour it back in the jar. So then after I have them all strained and ready, then I add a little pinch of cayenne to each one. I said not a lot, um, it's very little.
and I'll post what the benefits of the cayenne pepper is for as well. Um, and this is because my son, he always complains about um, it being bitter. Bitter is best, um, but if you have to sweeten it, then I use date syrup. And they're ready for the day. <laughs> Anke Mayat.